So recently I found this website, Topical Map AI. So if you're not familiar with the Topical Map, it basically is like a keyword re research system for your website now and kind of categorizes everything into different groups and uh, silos they're called. So just different groups for each uh, category in your website. So in this channel, we're all about using AI to save time. So this is even better. It's an AI tool for keyword research. So let's have a look now. You need to generate a map now. Okay, that's just the sign up, right? And this is the most important thing, right? SEO in 2020, find low competition keywords. Okay, I have to say I did that a lot. That was basically all I was doing in 2020 and it doesn't work anymore, unfortunately. So let's look at SEO in 2024. So it's about finding clusters and silos, okay? So this is just basically, you know, you have to do a category. So if I talk about, you know, travel in Chicago, then I have to stick to talking to about tra travel in Chicago, okay? I can't start talking about Vietnam or something. It's gonna, it, Google's gonna get confused and it doesn't want that, right? It wants you to be the expert, the authority, right, about Chicago, and you can't talk about Vietnam because then you're not an expert about Vietnam as well. It'd be more difficult, okay? That's just an example, right? But imagine in any niche, it could be the same, right? So the big problem with topical maps is actually duplicates, right? Because oftentimes there are words that are, you know, very similar and the same search intent. So I'll give you an example. Uh, let's say the, the tool Notion, right? So you could have notion pricing and notion cost, okay? So that might be two different keywords, but it really means the same thing. People are still trying to find the price of how much notion costs. So I'm really glad to see this create lots of semantically unique. That just means they have meaning, like semantics means a meaning basically. So they are unique meanings, content to cover topics completely, okay? So I'll be really interested to see how this goes. So the tool also gives you strategic internal linking, right? So you just link between relevant posts, right? This also helps Google when it crawls your website, right? To go, okay, this is relevant to this, this is relevant to that. Again, providing that you are an authority in this topic. So the problem that this tool is saving is that creating topical maps, <laughs> it just takes absolutely ages to do manually, right? Especially with the duplicate content, because you have to think about the topics as like, does that mean the same thing? You have to go through and Google everything to see if the same results are coming up for different keywords, right? So the solution is this tool. So let's sign up for it now and start generating some maps. So I'm going to go for the cheaper plan. I don't need more than 30 maps for a month right now. Okay, so cr to create a map, we just need to go up here to the maps section, right? And create a new map. So I'll give my map a name. I'll just call it AI. Okay, and the niche is marketing here. If I want to do it in English, right? The amount of topics. Yeah, I want the most, right? So let's just get as many topics as we can here. So let's try to use, uh, let's use Cloud 3.5 Sonnet. This is the one that everyone is raving about now. So let's give it, even though it costs more credits, but let's just test it out here. So edit subtopics before generating the map. Okay, so for this one, it means that AI will generate topics and subtitles and you can edit them before generating the micro topics for the map. Okay, in this case, I'm just doing an example, so I'm going to leave that to no, but if you want more specific topics, that might be good for you. So it takes a few minutes for this map to generate. So while the map is generating there, I just want to draw your attention to my new course, SEO with AI, right? Okay, so th this course is basically just like this tool now, just using AI to do every single aspect of SEO, right? And we're going to go through everything, right? The keywords, right? In this case, we're going to use this if this is good, right? And also we're going to use Claude to do it for free as well. So you can have your choice. I'll do both of them. I'm going to actually run through creating a whole site with AI, setting up the site, designing the site, you know, doing the keyword research, writing the content, editing the content and video editing and social media. So all everything to do with AI, right? For marketing so that you can set up a new website so this could be you for you if you're you know a small business owner if you're a solopreneur you have a product or something like that and you want to just really speed up your seo efforts this is perfect for just getting your seo kick started right you can do this all by yourself right i will promise you won't take too much time tools like topical map ai and claude and all these other extra tools that i'm going to show you in this course is going to save you a huge amount of time and hopefully you don't need to hire any SEO expert. Okay, so I actually made a mistake in my creation. I should have put AI marketing in the niche section, not just the name. 
Okay, so I got a general marketing. So even you can see here what a general, this is not really for me because I want to do AI marketing, right? But as you can see, the, here is like the most general, then it goes to subtopic and then microtopic. So the microtopic is like each blog post should be with this kind of keyword, right? So visual content creation, everything. So the subtopic is content marketing strategies and the overall topic is digital marketing. So you can have a look at some of the topics here, right? So let's have a look at the SEO techniques section. So we've got on-page SEO, we've got keyword research tools, link building, technical SEO, okay, content optimization, local SEO, mobile SEO. So yeah, I think all of these are different, right? Can you see anything that's similar? I don't think so, right? That's the most important thing, right, about this. Maybe, yeah, site speed is different, right, from all of these other ones. Meta tags is different. Yeah, all of these are different. Backlink profile analysis. We saw backlinking up here, didn't we? Link building strategy. Okay, they're, they're all different, right? They're all different from what I can see. And that's exactly what I'm looking for because the most time-consuming thing of this is like finding the different uh, topics that are actually the same. So yeah, basically what you need to do is like, this is basically the your website and then you have the different categories, right? So these could be the different WordPress categories and then these are the different blog posts. So you would have a page for this linking out to all of these pages. These pages link to that page and they could also link to different ones that are quite similar. Okay, so I actually wanted one about AI marketing because that's kind of my niche, right? So we have AI marketing strategy, AI powered customer segmentation and then it goes even deeper again. Right, so you can say, see this only took two minutes, right? And we got everything all well organized, right? So I guess it's not really exactly what I was looking for because I wanted more like AI tools. Maybe I should have put that in, but you can see there's different ones, personalized email marketing. Yeah, so I need to go through each, you still need to go through and check. AI is a tool as we always say on this channel. So we always need to go through and check them all before we actually would write a blog post. but. You can see how powerful it is. You get all your topics and then you use an AI tool uh, to create the blog post and then you edit it again. So there's always a part where you do the AI first, then you edit and then you publish. So overall, I like the tool, but I suppose I'll probably still use, also use something like Claude or ChatGPT to help me out here. So, you know, you can copy this into ChatGPT, for example, and start, you know, prompting it, follow up questions, all of that. I probably would use something like that to help me out and it wasn't exactly what I was looking for here, but it's definitely given me plenty of ideas that I wouldn't have thought about myself. So actually down here further, I found more AI content generation tools. That's more of what I was looking for, right? So there we go, AI email marketing tools. So I would have a blog post about all of these, right? And I'd link them to a general page, AI content generation tools, right? And then that would be my category. And then I can link to a massive page about this and. That's how I do my SEO. I can link to all these pages. And yeah, this is exactly what I'm looking for now. So overall, I'm pretty happy with this. I'd love to see this integrated into an AI content tool. I think that would be super, super helpful, all right? That's my review of Topical Map AI. If you want more tips about SEO and AI and marketing, then subscribe to the channel. I have plenty more videos coming.